You're with David Donk. First, let's congratulate you. Fleet Indian black type winner last week with uh, Fingal's Cave. How'd the horse come out of the race? Uh, yeah, it seems to be pretty good. It was a hard race on her. She's a little tired afterwards, but it seemed to come out of it well. Any idea what we might see her next? Yeah, I'm not sure yet. I, I kind of need to explore my options, um, get together with Alistair, and we'll see what we do. Well, you got three stakes horses coming in the next two, couple days here at Saratoga for closing out the meet. Uh, let's talk first about the PG on the PG Johnson. You have Lady Jasmine with Johnny V up. How's the horse been training? She's done really well. She's breathed well. Um, she's a pretty good workhorse over the dirt. So uh, it'll be a really good test for her. Um, don't really have any other options with her. You know, once these horses break the maidens on the grass, um, she is an ER bred, so she's jumping up in open company. Uh, a couple of really nice fillies in there. So. We'll get a really good line on her after this race. And then you have two more going the following day in the Lucky Coin. Uh, Thin White Duke and Big Package, both who ran decent, pretty good races last time out. One in the Troy against Golden Pal, which obviously is a very difficult race. Uh, how both horses have been training? Yeah, they're both doing well. They both have run very well up here. So um, both with the kind of same same style, you know, big kicks, you know, big finish, maybe, maybe a little bit pace dependent. Um, but, uh, you know, they're, they're coming into it well. It's not, you know, a super tough race. So, uh, you know, they, they both stand a good chance. Well, you have three stakes runners this week. You had a stake winner last week. Good luck in these races. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here with Brendan Walsh's assistant, Br uh, Charlie Lynch. Charlie, coming into this weekend, we got the Flower Bowl against the Warlike Goddess. You have Temple City Terror again. Finished second last time out. How's the horse been training? She came out of that last race really well going into the race good so we're going to take our chances again and hopefully we can get a little bit better this time and hopefully get to turn the tables on more like goddess what did you guys learn out of that last race we learned that she that race in delaware was just the surface didn't suit her and she tried her best last time and she came out of the race good so she gave everything she had and she proved that she belonged in there Horse like Warlike Goddess, obviously tough to beat. What would be the difference maker this coming Saturday to get that win? You never know what horse is going to show up on the day. You just got to take your chance and hope for the best. In terms of jockey situation, it hasn't been listed yet in the overnights, but who are you guys going with? I know there's a lot of jockey movement right now with Kentucky Downs opening and, and guys shuffling around Pacific Cup Classic Day out in California. So where are you guys going with? Uh, Louie's going to ride her this time. He's worked her the last two times over the turf course here, and he's gotten acquainted with her, so he's going to have the mount on her this weekend. Well, phenomenal jockey to pick up, especially how he's been riding this meet on the turf. Good luck this coming Saturday in the Flower Bowl. Thank you. Here with Rudy Rodriguez. Uh, Rudy, you have Hot Peppers going in a nice grade two tomorrow. First, I got to ask, what did you learn out of that second place finish in the test? Uh, you know, she's a filly that she always try, very gain. She's been a dream filly for us because, you know, since we got it, she just try hard, you know. The time before, she draw very nice and she draw clear. The second time, I thought the six and a half was gonna give us a trouble, and she did pretty hard and she prevailed. And then the test, you know, the other, the favorite horse, she went after us early and she keep fighting and you never know if he, she keep the eye on her, the other one, but the other one just went by us, you know. Uh, maybe got us a little tired fighting with the, with the favor, but she don't wanna give up. It seems like showed a lot of maturity in that test, you know, being able to push off at, at least the favorite um, with all that pressure that's on him. Has been training since the last race. You know, she's a very easy feeling to do him, so I don't think she needs a lot of work. So we just kind of baby her for the race and try to make her happy, and hopefully that was good enough for us. You mentioned me right before we went on camera about the post draw. How'd you think it came out? I, we, we was outside, but, um, you know, it's what it is. Last question for you. We can't stop by your barn without asking. Bella Sophia coming out of that race last week, how'd the horse come out? Uh, she seems okay. Um, we're gonna send him to the clinic and do the whole scan and hopefully they tell us something. Well, good luck in tomorrow's stakes race. Thank you.